Front planks are respectable core exercises, but there might be better alternatives for two different types of people. Those people are either they've had chronic or recurring low back pain, or they just want to target deeper core muscles or more surface area of their core muscles. Because the front planks target primarily the front stomach muscles. And I kind of say here we got these six pack muscles. Two of these muscles go from here to here. Whereas the side stomach muscles, they're the transverse abdominis, internal obliques, external obliques. They go from here all the way to here. So they support the low back better and they enhance the ability of some of the deep low back muscles to engage better. And then finally for that person with maybe chronic or reoccurring low back pain, front planks, holding a front planks, they really engage hip flexors. Hip flexors are these muscles here. They attach to the front of the spine, which means more compression on the spine. So especially for people with low back pain, a side plank might be a better option. So what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna go over a few different options and alternatives for a side plank and then give you some options for a front plank if maybe the hip flexor isn't something for you to make it even more challenging and robust to get more of these muscles. So as I start with just a basic side plank, that's just this right here. Key to this is you want your hips up high right here. So you don't want to be sagging. You want to be high foot doesn't really matter too much. I have some people that say that's more comfortable and some people think they need to be stacked. It's not really influencing or changing drastically what you're feeling here. The most important thing is let's breathe. And then of course you're going to do both sides. So there's a couple ways to go about as far as like, how long should I hold this? There's a couple, couple of ways to go about it. One is, let me do like a side plank challenge, 30 seconds, maybe a minute. I don't think there's a lot of tremendous value of holding a side plank more than a minute. Um, although there is some research to suggest uh, an elite athlete should be able to hold it for about a minute and a half. But for I think most people, 30 seconds, 60 seconds is perfectly fine. For somebody maybe just starting out, it might be more 10 to 15 seconds. Come down for three or four seconds, just give that muscle a quick break, pop right back up, breathe come back down, pop right back up, and maybe do that six to nine times. Now, to make it easier for some people to regress this, you can do it from your knees. Hips are slightly bent, knees are slightly bent. Same thing, hips come up, hips up high, just like the front plank, and then maybe thrust the hips forward so that you're nice and aligned. Shoulders, hips, and knees a little bit more aligned. And then the same idea, you can come down, come up. To make this more challenging, there's something called the Copenhagen plank. I'm just gonna turn around this way here, put our leg, up on a bench, same idea. We're gonna come up, hips up high, hold that. Knee can be down if you need to uh, make it a little bit easier and or this can come up. Same idea, keep hip up high, breathe. And then some people will even get kind of dynamic and they start to move that lower hip in there. And then the same idea, maybe hold for 30 seconds a minute and or down, back up and maybe do that six to nine times. If hip flexor activation is not a problem for you, you don't have that chronic recurring low back pain, there are some ways to make a front plank more dynamic and more robust, as I said before, to get some of these side stomach muscles a little bit more. And there are a lot of alternatives for just single arm planks. Now, the wider your feet are, the more base of support you have, the easier it is. And the more your hands are close together, the easier it is. So to make it more challenging, you'd maybe get here, so play with some different things because the most important thing is you don't want your hips to wiggle. Don't wiggle like this, don't wiggle like this. It's stability, stability means locked in place. So what you're gonna do is be here and you can either tap the shoulder. I like to go a little slower. You see boot camp classes, but then you see people doing this. Eh, I don't like that. We wanna be here and tap, tap. Make sure your, your hips aren't wiggling. You can also, some people put things on their back and reach out like this. And or there's also something called a plank drag. I pull it through and do this here. So there are your ideas, alternatives to a front plank. I hope you liked the video. If you did encourage me to make more, like it, give it a thumbs up or leave a comment below and we'll see you soon.